Hello folks, this is 2019 October November paper 22 and the question number is 5. This time the question is concerned with uh, the chapter waves as well as a superposition. So both the chapters combine into uh, one. Actually in um, uh, worldwide famous uh, courses like uh, A-level or even uh, famous competitive examinations, we cannot limit uh, uh, a long question like uh, this, these questions in, to only one chapter. So it's okay. It helps us uh, increase our thinking uh, capability also so uh, number a says uh, state what is meant by the wavelength of a progressive wave so uh, during our uh, during uh, when we were in a, in a secondary level we were taught that a uh, uh, wavelength is the distance between uh, between two crest two crest or two uh, throws of a wave but uh, as we progress uh, as we get to senior levels we have to Take uh, several things into account. So definitely, it is uh, true that uh, it's the distance between two adjacent uh, uh, crest or two adjacent throw. But uh, uh, other factors also get uh, involved in it. So one definition is uh, wavelength is the uh, distance between two adjacent wave fronts. So in senior level, we study waves in terms of wave fronts as well. So wave fronts are the uh, locus of uh, uh, particles performing the same movement, uh, simultaneous movement actually. So if I consider this as a uh, crest point, crest point, then all of these are crest points. So these are the points which uh, uh, which uh, represent the crest. So this represents another crest, another crest, and so on. So the the distance here will represent the uh, wavelength and wavelength and so on, and so on. So another is uh, that it is the uh, distance uh, traveled by uh, traveled by uh, a wave, a wave in. Uh, uh, the source vibrates once or the source oscillates once so when the source oscillates is the distance traveled here somewhat like this so uh, another uh, i can also say is the distance traveled by the energy when the source oscillates for uh, oscillates once and, and so on so there are many definitions so you write only one and you'll get this one mark now maybe uh, a cathode oscilloscope which is we call a CRO is uh, used to analyze a sound wave the screen of the CRO is shown in figure 5.1. So this is the 5.1. As you can see here, uh, 5 divisions equal to 1 centimeter. And here also 5 division equal to 1 centimeter, horizontal vertical. The time setting of the CRO is uh, 2.5 millisecond per centimeter. So this 1 centimeter is equal to 2.5 millisecond time base setting. So with this time base setting, we have to f determine the frequency of the sound wave. So frequency is equal to uh, the reciprocal of the time period. So first we have to find the time period. Let's calculate the time from uh, here to here, or I can say, so here. So from here to here. So uh, this is one centimeter. So that means that we have got uh, from here to here, it is uh, one, one, two centimeter, two centimeter. So this crest is one point right of, one division right of this. And this crest is one point of this, so its distance also should be equal to this. Also should should be equal to two centimeter. So now, since one cm is equal to two point five millisecond, we have a two cm should be equal to two into two point five equal to five point zero millisecond equal to zero point zero zero five seconds. So this gives us frequency is equal to. So this is the time period. Time period. So 1 by t equal to 1 by 0 0.005 and this thing will give us so as I'm uh, I'm handy with these things so I can say directly that it is 200 Hertz so the frequency of the wave is 200 Hertz so it is 200 Hertz is written there now and we have to take care of that uh, we, we, we need this thing somewhere in the next page now the next question is question number C is uh, the source emitting the sound in B. So the source emitting sound here in this B uh, is at point A here. Waves travel from the source to point C, direct travel here, along two different paths. So one is direct path AC and another is the indirect path here, ABC. Uh, ABC means that it gets reflected from a certain surface. It is written as a reflecting surface here. Distance AB is 8.0 meter and distance AC is 20.8 meters angle ABC is 90 degrees so this angle is 90 degrees 
assume that there is no phase change of the sound wave due to the reflection at point B. So this is some sort of caution here. Some sort of caution here. It's because uh, had it been light waves, had been light waves, uh, and if it's a mirror, it's a mirror, reflection causes phase change. Phase change or it becomes opposite. The crest turns to true and the true turns to crest. Compression turns to rarefaction and rarefaction turns to uh, compression. So there's something higher matter which can be known from, uh, uh, which, which will be known in the higher level studies of Young's double state. So it's not in the part of a level course so what uh, it has made easier is um, it has uh, told us told us to uh, not to consider the phase change so it, things become easier the wavelength of the wave is 1.6 meter so this is lambda so one wave travels directly to c and another reaches c after reflection from the surface now we have to do show that the waves meeting at c have a path difference of 6.4 meters so path difference means actually it is the difference of distance so we have to find the difference in distance traveled by this wave and this wave so that requires us to find this distance so from Pythagoras theorem here this 90 means right angle triangle so from Pythagoras theorem we have BC should be equal to equal to root uh, AC square minus AB squared that's equal to 20.8 squared minus 8.0 squared and when I do this in a calculator, in a calculator, so uh, 20.8 square minus 8.0 squared equal to uh, power to 0 0.5 is equal to 19.2 meters. So 19.2 meters. So this distance is 19.2 meters. Then, then the distance uh, traveled by the wave along this path is, this path is totally is, so this A, B, C will be equal to 8.0 plus 19.2 which will be equal to this is 2 8 and 17 so it is 27.2 meters 27.2 meters so here it is 20.8 here it is 27.2 so therefore the path difference is equal to delta x let us say that's equal to 27.2 minus 19.2 uh, that becomes equal to equal equal to so 2 to uh, 27.2 let me see the answer here mm, I'm sorry this is 20.8 so I made a mistake here so this is 20 20 20.8 and this becomes 12 8 to 4 so 7 1 6 and 0 so it is 6.4 meters so answer is there now explain why an intensity maximum is detected at point C so because of these things we are uh, we are finding here a maxima intensity maximum means that we are finding here the maxima so maxima means that uh, uh, the path difference should be a multiple of a wavelength, multiple integral multiple of wavelength. So let's see here. So here, uh, delta x is equal to 6.4 and meters, and the lambda is equal to 1.6 meters. So we have got this ratio is equal to so n is equal to delta x by lambda equal to 6.4 by 1.6 equal to 4. So there are four. Uh, that there are four waves there four waves is accommodated within that part difference so that means the part has this n uh, delta uh, x is equal to four lambda four lambda so it's the integral multiple of the uh, wavelengths so that means that means at those points there should be maxima it's a, from the uh, from the derivations of a theory of young's double seed experiment so uh, at those points uh, since uh, the part difference is the uh, integral multiple it should be bright it should be high amplitude it should be loud sound uh, it should have high displacement and so on so here it should be maxima so that's the region number three determine the difference between the times taken the, for the sound to travel from the source to point c along the path so we have to find at what time does it reach from here to here at what time does it reach from here to here and find the difference so first the first time is t1 is equal to ac divided by by velocity of the uh, wave velocity of the wave so let's find first find the velocity here so velocity is equal to frequency into lambda equal to the frequency is uh, as uh, we have obtained in the previous page it is 200 hertz so frequency is uh, 200 hertz 200 into uh, lambda is 1.6 meter so it's equal to 320 meter per second 
So this should be AC is uh, 20.8 divided 320. So that's equal to, that's equal to equal to 20.8 divided 320 is equal to, is equal to 0 0.065 seconds. Then T2 is equal to AB plus BC by V. So that's equal to, as we have done here, that's equal to ABC, AB plus BC. It is 27.2.2 divided by this uh, 320. And that's equal to 27.2 divided, uh, three, divided, divided 320 is equal to 0 0.085, 0 0.085. 85 seconds so this uh, delta t should be equal to 0 0.085 minus 0 0.065 equal to 0 0.020 seconds so it is 0 0.020 seconds now now the wavelength of the sound is gradually increased we have increased calculate the wavelength of the sound when an intensity maximum is next detected so Till now we have we have we have four waves there, so we have to uh, we have to increase that wavelength, and uh, find uh, uh, the wavelength of the sound when next maxima occurs. So uh, when we increase the wavelength, in the wavelength. So if I have a certain distance here, and there are some waves here, if I increase the wavelength. So if I say here we have got, to, uh, let's go for our calculation here. Here, uh, yeah. So we have four waves there. In this distance, we have got four waves. So let me draw those four waves like this. So one wave, one wave, two wave, three wave, and four wave. So if I increase the uh, wavelength, wavelength, the next possible maxima occurs when there are three waves here. So right now, four waves. Four waves is equal to uh, delta x equal to four lambda. So next maxima condition occurs when you increase the wavelength. It will be it will be it will be delta x equal to three lambda because when we increase the wavelength, this distance will house the less number of waves. When we increase the wavelength, there will be less number of waves here, and it will house less waves. So the next less wave is four minus one three. So at that time, this this will be somewhat like this. The wave will be somewhat like this. So one two. So one wave here, two wave here, and three wave here. So here 3 lambda is equal to the distance here which is 6.4 meters. So this is where lambda is equal to 6.4 by this uh, 3 and that's equal to 3 1 is a 3, 3 8 is a 24, it should be 1.8 meters. So at that time, at that next maxima, the wavelength should be equal to 1.8 meters. So 1.8 meters is the answer for this question.